Uh, hello there folks, how are you doing? Lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. Like I said, really lovely to see you and thanks very much for popping over. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea. My name is Cheryl and this is our Meals of the Week. This is just the, the, you know, the meals that I've made for the family for the previous week. I usually start off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday and any recipes that I've done during the week will feature here as well. If you want to check out how to do them just click on the show more and you'll find any recipes down there and as usual I'll just be ending with a selection of your comments from my videos from during the week as well and if you haven't yet why not consider subscribing just before you go and click the wee notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's go and see See what we had this week starting off on Monday. So starting off on Monday I made pasta and meatballs. So this is penny pasta and a spicy arabiata sauce with some beef and pork meatballs and some more of the arabiata sauce on top. A wee bit of black pepper and some oregano and this was lovely for a wee change. Not something I do all that often but it's tasty. Moving on to Tuesday, a classic, bangers and mash. Now we're having this more and more often, it's just one of those classic flavour combinations, you know, it's just really tasty. Mashed potato, some pork sausages from the butcher and some baked beans, of course. Moving on to Wednesday, we had gammon steak. So it's some steak chips, that's the gammon steak there. A grilled tomato and a vegetable medley at the back. Now, if I'm being honest, this was actually quite dry. I thought I'd pineapple in the cupboard, but I didn't have any, so it was a bit dry. Moving on to Thursday, you'll have seen this one already if you watched my chicken pie video the other day. But if not, like I said, I will link it down below for you. You can go and check it out. This was beautiful. And we had some buttered cabbage and some mashed potato on this side. This is just packed with chicken and mushrooms and the most wonderful sauce. Like I said, check it out. I'll link it down below. And moving on to Friday, I made a very simple bolognese pasta bake. I don't think I've actually shared my bolognese recipe on here yet. That's definitely on the to-do list. So it's just a bolognese sauce with the macaroni and cheese. Pop it into the oven for half an hour and that's you with some tomatoes and herbs on the side. And moving on to Saturday, it made chicken and peppers. So it's steamed rice, and that's the chicken and peppers there. It's basically pan-fried chicken with all sorts of peppers, and we've got chilli and garlic, Chinese five spice, soy sauce, onions, tomatoes. <laughs> and moving on to today, and we had steak pie. So that's some buttered roast new potatoes, some mashed turnip, some green beans, and steak pie. A steak pie is just basically a beef stew with sausages and a wee bit of puff pastry on top. Scottish staple, that one. And I've also got a recipe for Scottish steak pie, which again, I will leave in the description box down below. So if you're leaving at this point, thank you very much for popping over and I'll hopefully I'll see you during the week. If not, same time next week for more meals of the week. So I hope to see you soon. For everyone else that are staying on to see the comments, these are just a few of your comments, like I said, from my videos this week. So let's go and see what you were saying. Your first comment is from Monsieur Lawop and he said, I'm shocked that your MRE video or indeed any of your content would attract criticism. Baffling. Well, you know what? I mean, you can't please everyone. But yeah, I was a bit surprised that some folk got, you know, kind of worked up about it. But yeah, I mean, it was just a bit of fun at the end of the day and I was sent the package. So I thought it was just polite, you know, to put it into a video because I was asked to do a wee video. So I thought it was just nice. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed doing the video, as you could probably tell. <laughs> I absolutely love doing the video but I can appreciate you know everyone's different and not everyone's going to love it but yeah so thank you very much for your comment lovely to see you again your next comment is from Gaggy Mott and they've written Hiya Cheryl from Northern Ireland. The current storm is called Kiara, an Irish name pronounced Kira. Well, there you go. I was pronouncing it wrong. I wasn't sure if it was Sierra or Cara or, well, there you go. It's Kira. So thank you very much for that. Lovely to see you also. 
The next comment is from Mrs. Magical Monica and she's written, hello from the USC. Well, hello to you, Monica, and thank you for stopping by and indeed for watching. She's written, we have a little here too. It's one of our, or one of my favourite grocery stores. Thanks for sharing. Well, again, you're very, very welcome and thank you for stopping over. You know, yeah, it's one of our favourites and you get such a good choice and I just don't think you can beat the prices, you know, but you can't, I, well, we can't always find find exactly what we're looking for in likes of Lidl or Aldi so we do tend to shop elsewhere as well so thank you for your comment. Our next comment is from Donna and she's written stay safe the rhubarb custard looks good this is my favourite type of pie and she's referring to the yogurts I picked up in my shopping haul and I can now confirm Donna they are absolutely delicious yeah I'll be picking those up again they just taste like stewed rhubarb which I love with a wee hint of custard it's more yogurty obviously than custard but the, the rhubarb flavour is beautiful so I hope you can get them <laughs> wherever you are if you're in this country obviously so thank you very much for your comment. The next comment is from Ted's Girl UK and she's written, love this, glad it's not just me that takes giant bikes. You know, <laughs> I really do and this was me on camera so can you imagine what I'm like the rest of the time? Yeah, I'm not shy to take a good chunk out of something. So yeah, th this was actually, th this lady was actually the winner of my last Degusta box giveaway. So you've still to let me know how you got on with that because you did send me a message on Instagram, but you didn't get back to me. So let me know how you got on with it. I know that you received it, but you were going to let me know how you got on with the bits and bobs inside. So interested to find out what you actually thought of it. So thank you for stopping by and commenting. And as usual, lovely to see you. The next comment is from James Gochard. He's written, this was about my MRE video, and he's written, interesting, but apart from being able to buy camping friendly type stuff, quite expensive, much prefer your anything. Well, thank you very much, James. You know, that, that's, I really do appreciate that. And I'd, I'd, I'm assuming you're, <laughs> you're another one that wasn't really a fan of the MRE video. You no, know, I completely understand. You know, most people just come, you know, comes to my channel for the simple recipes and the Scottish cooking and, you know, the type of videos. But like I said, I was sent that in the post by one of you guys and, I, you know, I was asked to do a wee video and I thought it was just kind, you know, to do that for them because I really do appreciate when people go out their way to send me something you know I'm not just going to put it in a drawer and say oh well thank you very much that kind of thing so but I absolutely loved doing the video like I said before you know I thoroughly enjoyed it and there were loads and loads of you that did enjoy it as well so I'll think about doing one in the future but I'll probably put a, po a you know a poll out next time just to gauge your interest <laughs> before I actually do another one so thank you very much for your comment James and as usual lovely to see you as well. And your next comment is from Peggy and she's written, ooh, this is a favourite of mine. It's so soothing to listen to you describe the dish. Plus, as an American, you can never hear the words knob of butter enough. <laughs> I find this absolutely hilarious the first time I've seen it. You know, I'm a real fan of accents as well. And in particular, I love the Canadian accent. You know, some of their words just crack me up, like the way a Canadian will pronounce out, like O-U-T. I just, I, I just think it's so sweet. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a real you know, accent person myself. So I completely get where you're coming from. So thank you very much for watching, stopping by and commenting. Hope to see you again. Your next comment is from Jackie Davies and she's written, looks lovely, sent this bit up to my son in Glasgow. He wants to cook something nice for a Valentine's meal. Think he could pull this off. His girlfriend should be well impressed. Now I think I replied to you, yeah, that's a lovely thing to do. And what a nice lad, you know, want to cook something nice for his girlfriend. You know, definitely this one would be a winner because not only does it look fab, you know, she's going to think you put an awful lot of work into that, but it tastes just as good as as it looks so if you remember and if he does actually decide you know to make it let me know how it went I'd be quite interested to find out so thank you very much for your comment 
The next comment's from Jo Smith and she's written, OMG, that looks so good. I might give it a go and maybe poach the chicken in stock. Well, that's a brilliant idea, Jo. You know, that would give it an extra layer of flavour as well. I didn't think of doing that, but that's actually a really good idea. So definitely use that the next time I'm making a chicken pie. So thank you very much for your comment. And Jo, again, was another one of my Degusta Box winners. So yeah, thank you very much for your comment and from stopping by. Well, your last comment this week is from our friend Gary Boyd, a.k.a. The Mushroom Man. <laughs> He's written, disappearing mushrooms, oh no, say it isn't so. Chicken and mushrooms, such a classic combination, looks fantastic. You know, it didn't just look fantastic, Gary, it absolutely it tastes phenomenal. Such a wonderful sauce and I just love to pack it with mushrooms and chicken. That way, you know, when you cut your slices out, everybody is getting a good amount of chicken and mushrooms. So thank you very much for your comment. It's always lovely to see you. So take care. So there's wee Jasper there getting woken up again. I just like to sneak up on him when he's not expecting it. So thank you guys for coming over and liking, subscribing, commenting, whatever you decide to do to support my wee channel. You know, it does mean ever so much and yeah I'd love to respond to each and every one of you individually but I'm sure you can appreciate now that that would just take far too much time in the comments as the weeks are going on or just you know they're coming in thick and fast but I do try and respond to you all and I do read every single one so I shall catch up with you during the week with another wee recipe shopping haul and maybe a wee bonus video here and there and if I don't see you during the week hopefully I'll see you next Sunday for another meal of the week. So until I see you next or whenever you do decide to join me, mind to take care of yourselves and I will see you all very soon. So bye for now. Bye now.